Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Many of us have used this combination of keys as a password or a file name. It is understandable as these letters are located on the left in the top row. They are the first to catch your eye and they are always at hand. The history of this keyboard layout is rooted in the second half of the 19th century, when mass use of typewriters and other printers had started. At that time, there was no single keyboard layout standard. For example, the inventor of typewriter, Christopher Scholes, in his version, used a Latin layout in which letters on the keys were arranged in the alphabetical order. For example, the first seven keys of the upper row had letters A, B, C, D, E on them. However, the keys with the most frequently used letters started to sink in, catching on one another and making the process of printing much more difficult. Quite often this problem caused the typing machine to fail. A different keyboard layout was needed, where the most frequently used in English letter combinations will be placed on different sides of the keyboard. Some think that Scholes' half-brother, a mathematician by training, had analyzed the combinability of letters in English and offered him the Q-W-E-R-T-Y variant. In 1868, Scholes received a patent for his invention, and in 1873, he sold the patent to Remington and Sons. In 1874, the typewriter Remington 1 appeared. It used this layout. The QWERTY layout had strong competitors, such as typewriters of Hammond and Blickensderfer, that used different layouts. But in the end, QWERTY layout had driven all the rivals out and had become so familiar that they started to use it in computer keyboards. In the analogous Russian keyboard layout, the same QWERTY principle was used. However, by that time, typewriters had become more sophisticated and hammers no longer catched on one another. Therefore, the Russian keyboard layout is more perfect and the most frequent letters are located in the center. This keyboard layout is the basis of virtually all layouts in the languages of the former Soviet Union. In the 40s of the 20th century, an American, Arthur Dwork, offered his version of Latin letters layout. He came to the conclusion that it was more convenient when the commonly used letters were in the middle and upper rows. Under his left arm, in the middle row, he had arranged all the vowels. Under his right arm, the most common consonants. The load on arms turned out to be more balanced. However, by that time, the layout issue had become a matter of economy and not ergonomics. No one dared to put aside millions of typewriters that served people faithfully at that time. Although typewriters are non-ergonomic and have already become museum exhibits, the well-known QWERTY layout is still used.